When it comes to your server, security is priority number one. You can't sleep on it or you will risk losing all of your hard work. So today I'll show you how to set up a managed firewall on your VPS. Here at Hostinger, we employ a different kind of firewall than the ones you might be used to. Our managed firewall for VPS is set up before the server itself. That means it filters traffic before it even comes close to your server and it doesn't use any of your service resources to drop connections. It's a straight up upgrade from the traditional OS based Linux firewall. Walls. Before we proceed though, a quick disclaimer. This tutorial is tailored for hosting our VPS clients. If you're interested in trying out our VPS hosting and all of its enhanced security benefits, click the link in the description below the video and choose a plan that suits your needs. For a better deal, use our coupon code VPS10 for an extra 10% discount off of your purchase. All right, let's move on to setting up your VPS firewall. First things first, you will need to access the VPS section on your H panel. So go ahead and sign in if you haven't already, then go to the VPS section on the left side Sidebar. Once you've done that, hit manage under your server. Then pick security from the left sidebar and after that select firewall. Now press add firewall, give it a name and click create. It's time to set it up. Click the ellipsis button and choose edit. See that add rule button? We'll be using that to make the firewall actually filter traffic. There's a couple of main guidelines to consider here. The firewall can accept, reject or drop the connections to the server. Drop and reject are similar, but reject actually sends a response when blocking a connection, while drop just blocks it. From the second drop down menu, you'll have to choose the protocol or common application you want this particular rule to affect. If you select a protocol like TCP or UDP, you'll need to insert the port value. You can do that by either specifying the port number or a range. So just insert a colon between the numbers with no spaces. The traffic source drop down menu lets you refine the rule further. Select custom if you want to affect a specific IP address and enter it in the source details cell. If you're done with that, click add rule, then repeat it to set up as many rules as you wish. Oh, and don't forget to toggle the firewall on when you're done. If you ever want to make any more adjustments to the firewall you've just set up, no problem, that's really easy to do. Really, just go back to HPanel's VPS section and navigate to the firewall section under security. Now, click the same three dots next to your firewall and choose edit. This will allow you to make any changes you want and when you're done you can just go back to whenever you were doing before. The firewall's configuration will be saved automatically. One more thing I'd like to talk about is some common mistakes people make when configuring the firewall. So here are the usual suspects you should look out for. First up, you really don't want to block the SSH port for your IP address. Because if you do that, you risk being locked out of the server and you won't be able to fix that without logging into HPanel. Secondly, make sure to configure the allow rules properly. Our managed firewall will block all traffic unless it's explicitly allowed. Establish a clear list of allowed IPs and protocols up front and make sure necessary access isn't restricted on accident. The third common mistake is setting port 80 or port 443 rules that are too strict. Doing so may restrict HTTP and HTTPS traffic, causing accessibility issues for users. When setting up the rules, implement the restrictions carefully so you don't prevent legitimate users from accessing your server. Finally, a bad firewall configuration may block visitor traffic. Once you've got the rules set up, double or triple check them once more to prevent downtime and bad user experience. Best of all, check your server from an outside machine to simulate a user trying to access it and see what happens. If you ever feel stuck trying to configure your VPS, our AI assistant is here to help. Let me introduce you to Cody. It is familiar with the full context of your server, knows all the helpful commands that you need, can look up information and tell you how to do whatever task you want to accomplish. Heck, he'll even tell you how to set up the managed firewall in the first place. And that's how easy it is to set up and customize your firewall with Hostinger VPS. Leave a comment down below about your experience. And if you got any tips to our others setting up their firewalls, don't keep it to yourself either. If you found the video helpful, leave us a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.